Okay, so we're back on an absolutely beautiful summer day. This time I want to build myself a new very tiny workbench to go up against the back wall of my shop because I have a couple new additions to the shop. I've got a 12 inch disc sander and another mini lathe. And these tools have been kicking around on the workbench for a long, long time and I'm just not happy with where they're at so I'm just going to build a little tiny bench just for these. Now before I get started, I would like to say that there is an abundance of workbench tutorials on YouTube just to name a few, uh, Jay Bates, Steve Ram. But for right now, I think I'm going to go with more of the Steve Ramsey design. I'm just going to use some 2x4s for this whole thing. And I'm going to start it off by cutting the legs out of those. This is where the workbench is going to go, and I've just taken some measurements with the tape measure to see what's a comfortable height. And I'm going to go with 36 inches for the length of the legs. So I cut down eight of those 36 inch long legs and that's because I want to laminate two together for each one. So now we're just gonna go ahead and glue and screw it. Some of these pieces are a little bowed out so I'm using clamps to help squeeze everything together. Now that I have the legs all glued up, I'm going to go ahead and use my table saw to trim off the excess so that everything sits nice and flat. So what I've just done is line up my disc sander with the lathe and measure their length and how wide and far out the bench is going to have to come. And I've come up with the measurement 14 inches wide by 45 inches in length. So I'm going to go rip down 2x4s to make that dimension and I'm going to cut a sheet of plywood to fit on top. I'm just going to glue and screw each of the legs here into the inside corner of the frame and I'm just going to screw right through the side. Alright guys, there it is. My goal with this workbench here is to get it done as quickly as possible while still having a really sturdy and solid workbench and I think I really met those requirements. Anybody can make this workbench in just a few hours like I did and you don't even need to have a table saw or any of the other tools I use in this video. You can easily get this whole project done with just a drill and a circular saw. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you would take the time, I'd appreciate it if you can really subscribe to my channel. Just click that red button right down there where it says Peter Matthew. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video and it'll help gain my channel a lot of publicity. If you like what you saw today, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Tune back in next Friday for a new video and I'll see you all then.